What's up? Oh, uh, just trying to get back into your mother's good graces. Well, she tells you why she's mad? No, but I had a theory that maybe the reason she's acting so wacky is she's going through that, you know, the change. You didn't say that to her, did you, Dad? Yeah, I did. Didn't go over too well. So I found out Travis isn't my soulmate. Neither is Jason or Brant. Bad call there. He asked me to fix him up with Rick. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Rick, this music is so beautiful. Did you really make this CD just for me? Sure. Why not? I call it Songs About Doreen. Oh, you are so deep. Gets you hot, huh? It's not Ryan. You're running out of good-looking guys. Maybe you should just give it up. I have an idea. What if you put an ad in the school paper? Yes, because whoever lost the city put a lot of work into it. They must want it back, right? Right. It was in the garbage. Found the most beautiful, wonderful, romantic, magical CD mix ever made. Did you make it? Who are you? That's good. <gasps> It is. And I put your email address and not your phone number. In case it's a psycho. Good point. Psycho? She just said he was her soulmate. Soulmate, psycho. There's a fine line between love and insanity. Obviously. I had a wonderful time, Rick. Yeah, same here. Thanks again for the CD. It's so beautiful. Yeah, well, so are you. Teresa. You look happy. Been a good week. So, you still don't know what you did, huh? Not a clue. And doing chores is getting me nowhere. But I just bought these week old flowers and last year's Valentine's candy. Now, if this sort of frugality doesn't win her back, I don't know what will. You know, Dad, you should give her this CD mix. I don't know why, but somehow this says whatever chicks want to hear. Songs about Carla? Yeah, that wipes off. Keep it. I got a bunch of coffees. Well, thanks, Ricky, but emotional dishonesty is a young man's folly. No, I think these presents will do the trick. Hi. Hi. Is this what I think it is? No need checking the price. They were 70% off. <laughs> oh. You just don't get it, do you? So I placed the ad. Nothing. And Mia and I began our soulmate vigil. Nothing. Also known as staring at my empty email box. Still nothing. <sighs> Keep quizzing me. Who was the original bass player for the Three Apostles? Todd Tompkins? Thad Tompkins. Oh, all these Goyasha names sound the same to me. Todd, Thad, Lance, there's a difference? Oh, this Christian music is totally bringing out the Jew in me. Okay, let's switch back to your pathetic love life. Uh, nothing. Are you sure you're online? Try sending one to yourself. Oh, good idea. You've got mail. That wasn't me. Maybe it's him. Oh, oh, this is just like you've got mail. I'm Meg Ryan. Do you think I should get my hair cut like hers? Molly, the only one who looks good in the Meg Ryan haircut is Meg Ryan. Did you learn nothing from the Rachel? It's from Mixed Boy 231. That's got to be him. Thank you for attempting to return my CD. As I have saved a copy on my hard drive, you may dispose of yours with my permission and appreciation. He's so polite. Perfect grammar, no misspellings or abbreviations. What if he's a teacher? Ew. See if he's online. Oh, try instant messaging him. Oh. Got him. I thought your CD was beautiful and meant so much to me. Good, good. You're losing him. Come on, keep typing. I I'd love to talk to you about it. He doesn't want to. That's because you're being so wimpy. Give me that. Meet me at Lieber CD and Vinyl Emporium in half an hour. What are you doing? I'll have a red rose. Oh, my God. I'm going to meet my soulmate. He actually spelled out the word okay. What is he, like, 80? <sighs> Hi, Grandma. How are you going, Mimey? My new gentleman, Connor, and I are going 
out to do street crime. Oh, that's nice. I need a red rose. Are all the ones in the yard dead? A wilted one? Flew into our garbage? Damn it, Mrs. Krupp. No one can understand your fool miming. Hey. There is a wilted rose in our garbage. Oh, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> I'm so nervous, my feet are sweating. Yeah, I wouldn't make that my opening line. Thanks for being here, guys. No problem. I am dying to see what your soulmate looks like. Me too. Not that it matters. Betty has deep eyes. Mm, maybe blue and tousled. I don't care hair. Dirty blonde. Soft lips. Strong chin. Are you picturing Heath Ledger? Totally! <laughs> wow. This is so incredible because about a week ago, I saw a limo stop outside the school, and a guy who looked a lot like Heath Ledger got out and walked across the schoolyard. And wait, he was holding something. Was it a CD? He looks sad. Are you too insane? He's here. Who, oh, mixed boy? No. Grant. Hi. Oh, hi, Mia. Oh, wow. Sad Tompkins Live. You know, the three apostles' rhythm section has just not been the same since he left. You are so right. You know, he's playing at the convention center next week. Are you interested in going? You mean just you and me? And 20,000 other believers. And maybe when it's over, 20,000 or more. <sighs> he's 20 minutes late. Maybe his mom made him do the dishes. Well, that's why I'm late sometimes. Maybe he had trouble deciding what to wear. Do you guys do that? No, not really. So, no soulmate. I'm really sorry, Molly. Yeah, me too. He probably peeked in, saw my giant nostrils, and ran away. Don't be ridiculous. I'm sure that didn't happen. Well, you guys have to say that because you're my friends. I mean, it didn't happen because he'd have to be sitting down to see your humongous nostrils. Shut up! <laughs> I'm already humiliated enough. Oh, don't feel humiliated. Hey, everyone. You gotta check out what's going on in the street. <laughs> <laughs> says right there, songs about Mary. You really do know what you did after all. Oh, sure, sure I do. No pool. The dream is dead. So, I didn't find my soulmate tonight. Maybe the whole idea of two people sharing exactly the same heart and mind is a bit of an illusion. Like the box around a mime. But even if it is part illusion, it's the best illusion. And I'm gonna keep believing my soulmate is out there somewhere. You've got mail. It's from him. I had every intention of meeting you tonight, but when I saw how beautiful you were, I knew you were way out of my league. Maybe someday we will meet, but not now. Not yet. Yours truly, Mixed Boy. <laughs>